YouTube, welcome back to your clothing guide, the Hoxton Trend. In this video, what I'm gonna do is show you some of the items that I picked up during the January sales. Now, around this time of year in the January sales is usually the best time for you to pick up items online. I can literally do some forward planning and kind of plan what type of items I'm gonna need um, in the future. Lots of retailers really need to get rid of items this time of year. They're already loading up their websites and their stores with a lot of the new season stock. So the old season stuff, it needs to get moved on. So, you know, it can be a really good opportunity for us to go ahead and buy stock at a discounted rate and therefore plan a lot of outfits throughout the year. But in this video, what I'm gonna do is show you some of the items that I've picked up, why I've picked them up, what my thought process behind trying to pick up items, you know, what type of things I'm kind of looking at, you know, cause I know I need like trainers um, this time of year. I really, really love to pick up hoodies and stuff like that, okay? Now guys, this video has been sponsored by ShopTagger. They're gonna be helping to sponsor this video so I can bring this really cool content for you. So what I'm gonna do is explain why I think ShopTagger is really good to use for this time of year and how it even helped me out a few times. So let me explain that to you real quick. So all you need to do is jump over to the Google website and if you type in here shop tagger extension as you can see right there boom first link shop tagger now this is actually going to download a shop tagger button to your chrome extension it's just going to make it so much easier for you to find deals find items i'm going to show you how to use it in just a second so go ahead um to the chrome web store and you can see here it says add extension so go ahead and do that now what you should do then is jump over to the shop tagger website you can just sign in with your email you can use your google account or your facebook account and you'll be able to sign in to shop tagger okay i've already been looking at some items that i've tagged and saved so i'm going to quickly show you how you can use that now there is a full list of all the websites that you can use with shop tagger and adidas is one of them so i've just jumped on adidas but let's say i'm browsing i've gone on to men's i've seen an item that i like like these trainers for example i can go ahead and i can tag this item and save it for later now quite simply it's just a way for you to organize your items online it's also a way to be notified if an item has gone down in price and you can also set it so if it comes back in stock let's say it's sold out and the items um come back in stock you can also get shop tagger to notify you when the item is come back in stock now if you've got the actual application on your mobile it will send you a push notification and it will also send you some emails as well to let you know if there's been any changes in your items. What I'm gonna do is quickly show you my own shop tagger dashboard and you can see right here, these are all the items that I've been looking at. Now there were some situations where I did wanna purchase an item but they were out of stock. So I did use shop tagger to tag those items when it came back in stock and it did send out some push notifications. So I was able to cop some items that came back in stock. I think that might've been the Y3 trainers and also this Neil Barrett hoodie, this one here in gray. So that was really cool. You can also organize your items. Um, so here I've got lists, for example, trainers I know I have. So yeah, trainers, I've got some in there. And if you wanna just build up a collection of trainers that you're just kind of looking at or waiting for the price to come down, you can just put them all in there as well, okay? Now, literally ShopTag, I have a new tool which they've introduced quite recently. Now, I'm gonna show you how to use that because it's quite useful. Let's say, for example, you're ready to buy some trainers. You can just go onto the trainers that you've seen, or let's say it's not trainers, let's say it's this hat over here, just to make it nice and simple. Now, this is a really cool feature that, um, shop tagger have just released if I go to um, I feel lucky it will automatically apply any discount codes that are that it knows about and it will add it to the basket so already here it's testing to see if there's any codes boom so there's no codes on this one but there has been a few times I think I was on get the label um, and I went to buy some items and it applied two different codes on there so I was able to get a double whammy discount which I let people know about on my Instagram, but that's it, that's that's it guys, that's literally it. You can use Shop Tagger to monitor items, um, let you know when items have come back in stock, and let you know when there's a price drop. So it's really useful, okay guys? Now remember, there is a link on the description box below. So I would recommend that you use that link to download the app on your desktop. You can also download, download it on your mobile as well if you wanna do it on your mobile and you will be good to go, okay? Crack on with the video guys and let's show you exactly what items I've got in, okay?
Right guys, so this is literally all of the items that I've picked up. I've got trainers, I've got jackets, I've got hoodies, um, I've got a couple of pants as well. All kind of like different budget items. I'm gonna show them to you real quick. I knew this season that I definitely wanted to get some hoodies. Hoodies is just like ultimate comfortable wear. And this time of year when the weather's still a little bit cold, you know, you kind of want to have something that you can wrap up with. And I think like a hoodie, having a hoodie as well, just gives you that extra bit of protection. Another thing that I'm really um, a fan of is cargo pants, tracksuit bottoms. So I tend to pick up a lot of those. For me, when I'm just kind of running around locally or, you know, just doing something where I don't really need to dress up too much. I'm just going to the, to the shops or whatever. Then hoodies and cargo pants for me is like super comfortable wear. Right, so first pickup is, let's have a look. I can't even remember what this is. What is this? Um, oh yeah, <laughs> I knew that. CP Company Jacket. If you want to know where I picked up any of this stuff, all you got to do is go down to our links in the description below and you can see exactly where I picked up all of this stuff. I used our website, thehoxandtrend.com, so it just made things a lot more easier for me to kind of see what different items were out there. You know me, I love jackets. and I thought if I can get something a little bit kind of lightweight, I'm not going to really need so many heavyweight jackets, which I've got quite a lot of. So I thought if I caught myself a little CP company, something a little bit different, that um, it might be worth grabbing something like this. So yeah, I managed to pick this up. Really nice, very, very lightweight. Um, it's got an outer construction which is water resistant. And what I like about it, it's got this nice material on, on the side which goes right down the middle there protecting the zip. Quite a nice addition to have to my ever growing um, jackets list. So that's the first one. To be honest with you, the lightweightness of the jacket is still quite a bit puffy. So for me, it's perfect for this time of year where you're layering up but you don't want to wear something like a big heavy Canada goose jacket as the weather starts to turn just a touch bit warmer, okay? But yeah, man, this is uh, this is quite nice. So another item that I picked up, I can't even remember now. Oh yeah, this A-Life hoodie. So yeah, I managed to pick up an A-Life hoodie. So I thought I'll pick one up and try it out because I'm looking for a whole bunch of hoodies at the moment. The other thing that I managed to pick up was this um, Y3 hat, which um, I'll put the price up on the screen, but I remember it was a really good price and I just thought it was a little bit different. So some of the brands that I'm kind of really feeling at the moment is um, Neil Barrett, because Neil Barrett's quite expensive. I'd rather try and pick it up in the sales. So usually I just hold out for the sales. And also for me, Y3 is doing some really nice stuff. So I even managed to pick up some trainers from Y3. And I just thought like this beanie hat would, would go well. So it's looking a bit big, but let me see um, how it actually looks. Now it's a bit annoying because I've got my hair in the style that it is. Then what tends to happen is my little bob kind of pushes the hat up just a little bit like that. But yeah. How's it look? Does it look too big? I feel like I look like a ruster a little bit with his big hat on. Yeah, man. So, as mentioned, I got this A-Life hoodie. And when I initially saw it, I just thought the quality looked really good. So, for me, I think if when I pick up hoodies, I usually go for, like, constructed quality hoodies. I like the hoodies to be a little bit more of a heavyweight, like, thick, durable. So, yeah, man, let me try this one on. I should really take my top off, but I'm just too lazy, so I'm just going to put it on over and see. Well, the first thing that I noticed is that they're using a more higher quality print for the um, logo at the front. So I just feel like that's good because sometimes it's a bit annoying when you buy a hoodie and um, you wash it and then the paint comes off a little bit. But I feel like this one looks a lot more quality. So that's quite nice. Yeah, just kind of run around, simple type hoodie. Um, looking at it a bit closer, I feel like but I just picked up a nil. Barrett hoodie, which is really nice. And although, yes, that was really expensive. I think it was like 190 pounds down from like 400, something like that. Um, I don't know. I feel like the quality of this could be a little bit better, actually. It just feels a bit like a standard hoodie. I thought the quality might have been a little bit more better. I don't know. It just feels really standard. Fair enough, it wasn't 200, but I don't feel like you need to spend 200 pounds to get a really good quality hoodie you should be able to spend like 50 60 pound like super dry hoodies for example i know the brand is not as strong as it used to it used to be from back in the day but super dry hoodies for quality i usually go for those man to be honest with you their, their quality on those are really nice but i'm not sure if i'm going to keep this one so yeah i'm gonna have a think about this one so another bunch of items that i bought right here let's have a look boom so what i've done is i've gone and got myself a calvin klein 
hoodie. Now the reason why I selected Calvin Klein is sometimes I do try to look at brands that are not super popular at the moment but are still doing some kind of cool pieces so if it's a bit different and not too many people are wearing it then that's something that I would tend to go for. So I know CK was like in fashion for a very long time then it kind of dropped out of fashion and I know they're trying to do a bit of a comeback. They've got their kind of more upper tier Calvin Klein collection. I think it's called the NYC and a bunch of numbers I can't remember. Something like that which I kind of really like but the prices on that are quite expensive. Again something like those I'll usually hang out for the sales. I'm not looking to spend no five six hundred pound on a hoodie even though I do like it. I think with hoodies and stuff like that I would prefer if they're just a little bit plain and just maybe have more of a kind of understated logo. Um, I don't really like at the moment you know stuff where there's too much stuff going on on the hoodie and stuff like that so yeah this looks all right so far I'm liking the look of this let's have a look right let's see now the only thing I was going to say about this is the print I wasn't too sure I did like the print but I was hoping it was going to be embroidered but it's actually screen printed and um, the problem with screen printing obviously is when you wash it a couple, a couple of times um, the screen print can sometimes fade and come off which is a bit annoying let's see how it looks on anyway well do you know what it feels it feels better than the A-Life hoodie and I re I'm really enjoying the fit of it as well. It's just got the CK there so I feel it's a little bit plain. What I didn't notice earlier on is it's got this jeans on the hood. I'm not really too sure how I feel about that. It feels a little bit, it feels a bit hype beasty, drill artist type. So I'm not really too sure. I wish that was plain to be honest with you. But the front of it, I really do like this CK here. It's really nice, goes well with the, with the black. This writing on the back man, I'm not too sure about that. That's a bit, I'm not sure if that's something that I would go for just because of that but the quality feels really nice feels better than the A-Life hoodie the fit is really nice yeah I like it I like it I went and picked up this Deodora um, sweat which to be honest with you look really good quality so I thought I'd check that out and it was the type of grey that I was looking for kind of rustic kind of grey look so yeah, I wanted to go for something like that, just something a bit simple. So let me try that on. Yeah, this is this is exactly what I was looking for. That's it, man. Just something simple, simple and nice. If I partner this up with the CP jacket, nice and easy, man. That's it. That's how I like it. Just easy, simple, and nice. Again, the reason why I've gone with the Deodoras is because I feel it's not really a name that so many people wear. I don't feel it's so mainstream like that. Like, yeah, we've all heard of Deodora, but it's not like Stone Island and Montclair where you just kind of see it everywhere. So I'm really thinking like more like brands which are just not everywhere is more stuff that I'm looking for. I feel like if I'm just casual around the area or, you know, just getting to my mates, again, this is just all about being comfortable, being casual. It's not all the time that I want to go and wear designer clothes everywhere. And sometimes wearing designers all the time is in itself just be a little bit bait. So it's nice to mix, mix and match and just go things that are a little bit different. Right, I was looking forward to this one. It's the Tommy Hilfiger grey um, knit sweat. Grey is a colour that I think I'm really feeling at the moment. I just think it goes really well with stuff that I wear. Right, let's try this on. Yeah, man. So I can tell you already that it feels really soft. The quality is good. The thickness is nice. We've got a contrast in materials here. And I just think the colours overall look really nice. Yeah, this is exactly what I was looking for, man. Something that was a little bit fitted as well. Yeah, I love that, man. Um, let me just see what items I can rock this with. Something like this, I think, will go really nice with a leather jacket. So I've got my Sherlin leather jacket from Coach. So you can see there, look, the contrast. It's got the leather, got the Sherlin there. And what I like is when you're wearing a jacket, you just see grey, then the colour scheme, and then grey again. I just think greys can really help to smarten up your look or just give it a little bit more of that kind of smart look. Right, got one of my favourite bomber jackets, so let's see how it looks with this look like this. There you go, nice. The grey for me really brings out the smartness of the outfit. If I had the Deodora, I'm sure, I'm sure if I had the same thing, let me just cheat a little bit, but obviously with the logo there, all right, maybe that didn't work, but I could just see with the logo there that might make the look a little bit more sporty, but with no logos and just the nice stripe colours there and just nice stripe colours there with the grey, that's already made it look a little bit more smart so yeah happy with that one I think that's one that's one that I'm definitely gonna keep let's just see how that works with the CP company yeah man that's nice I like that that's neat that's really neat cool one of the things that I've been wearing quite a lot of as of late are these um, crossbody bags I just think for me personally they're just so they're just really really useful man I think I've explained this in a video before I really am that type of guy that will put all my stuff like keys hair phone there and every single pocket will have stuff and then when I'm looking for it, I'm like, oh my God, where's all my stuff? I can't find it. So now what I do, if I've got this little pouch, I can just put my phone in here. And I know my boom, my phone's always here. Certain things I can just put in there and I know it's always there. And I can just have it 
easy access at the front, just like that. And then if I don't want it to be so noticeable, I can just put it um, around the back just like that a little bit and then suddenly you don't really see it it's too, too tough that's nice and concealed this one was actually gifted to us by top man so you can get it from top man but everyone is doing bum bags nowadays you can get it from like lots of different places right so this one i'm really excited about because what i went and done is picked up some cargo bottoms and pants now i've never tried boohoo man but a lot of my followers have been like you know what boohoo man has got some nice bits. So I really wanted some something really simple. So I found these um, cargo pants. And looking at them now, they looked a little bit better when I saw them on online, to be honest. But you know what? I still got to try them and give them a chance to see what they're like. I don't want to. I don't want to judge. But it's a super tight man. Oh gosh, you know what? The fit on these, bruv. The fit on these are horrible, man. What the hell is going on? I do not like these, man. Nah. Sorry, boohoo, man. Tried it, did not like it, mate. Right, so some of the other bits that I picked up is more cargo bottoms. And these ones are from a brand called Only and Sons. They're like a more what I would call value brand. So the items are not super expensive, but they're still um, providing really good quality. Looking at this already, this looks much, much better. This is how the Boohoo Man should have been. Nice, fitted. I picked up a pair of CP Company cargo pants. And quality-wise, I don't really feel they're too far off from these Only and Sons. But the quality on them feel really nice, man. If you're looking for a nice pair of cargo pants, then I definitely suggest Only and Sons. Again, I'll put the link in the description box below so you can see exactly where I got these ones from. Yeah, really happy with this purchase. I went ahead and got a pair in green also because if you get if you get cargo pants you've got to get them in green green and black for me are usually the best colors so one of the things that i was looking for was a really nice pair of like designer trainers but i wanted the pair that actually looked like trainers as well so what what i went for was the y3 trainers that you can see right here which i thought were really nice and they are super comfortable with the boost and what i like is you just got the y3 um on the tongue which is a really nice touch so i picked these up and they were they went for a mad price um i put the retailer and the discount and the price that i got them for so i was super chuffed with that because i think it was like over 50 percent well over 50 percent off so that was really cool but then what i went and done is i was wearing them and i got a little scuff and i said to myself you know what winter time i shouldn't even be wearing white so i went ahead and i got myself some in black as well so i've just been wearing the black ones but for me this is just super, super comfortable. I love the Ultra Boost. And I've also realized that as a Nike guy, I've been feeling Adidas a lot as of late. So I went and picked up some um, Adidas trainers. So I actually went up and I picked up some of these Adidas Night Juggers, which I just absolutely love. And then I went ahead and picked up some more trainers. If you want um, some links to where I got these trainers, you can check down below and I can show you all the links, okay? So I think there's one more item to show you. So let me go ahead and show you that real quick. Boom, here we go. So my last um, pickup that I picked up. So I thought, you know, obviously, picking up some lower price value items and then mixing them up with some nicer designers, especially ones that are kind of a bit different. I thought I'd go ahead and pick up one of the para jumpers gobi jackets but i did actually see that there was one on sale so i picked it up and i got it for a really good price so let me try that on real quick Woo para jumpers i did a whole review on para jumpers quite some time ago but the review is still relevant because they more or less still do the same jackets but the gobi for me super super nice jacket now if you like alpha industries jackets which i'm a big fan of i would say the quality on these are you know don't get me wrong, I like Alpha Industries, but the quality of these are much, much better, okay? So yeah, with the green color, I think it's quite nice. We've got the para jumpers arm on the badge there. Look on the inside, and the jacket feels really, really nice quality. Now, what I love about this, it's got this oversized collar, and you've got the hood there as well, but with the oversized collar, it just kind of goes around your neck like that and protects you. The um, black pants goes really, really well with the cross bag as well, with the black, so it kind of breaks down the colors nicely. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of chuffed with this one, guys. I think I've, I've kind of done well. So yeah, that's just a mix of different fits. So I'm gonna make sure that I haven't left anything out. I think that's it. So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I've got lots more videos like this coming. If you wanna see some more different hauls, um, and you want to see like different budgets, different outfit ideas we can try on, different retailers, let me know on the description box below or get in touch with us on our Instagram and find out what type of videos that you guys want to see, okay? And that's it. Guys, don't forget to download the Shop Tagger app. I'm going to see you guys soon. Lots more coming. Peace out.